So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Tax Friday, so new Tax function every Friday. Now, in today's Tax Fridays, I am going to show you how you can use a slicer to highlight instead of filter, okay? Let's get started. Oh, maybe you want to go and give it a go yourself before checking the video to see if you can pull it off or how you pull it off because there are different ways to do it. And then you can come back here and check it out. Anyhow, let's get started. Okay guys, so the behavior, you've seen it, you click on the slicer and it highlights. You click on two, it highlights two, three, or you remove it and highlights nothing. Now, how did I do that? So we're going to duplicate the, the page, <laughs> I don't need to recreate the visuals, and then we are going to create the measure. Here's the thing, the, the measure is here obviously, but we're going to recreate it. So I'll show you how this gets done. So a highlight with slicer so the first thing that we're going to do is we want a variable that picks the values that are selected on the slicer so we're going to put selected companies and we cannot use selected value because that picked just one value we want to have all values all selected values all selected okay from the slicer, which is company. Now that we have that, what we're going to do is if the values from the sales table are the values that are picked from the all selected on the variable above. So how do you pass multiple values from a table to a table? You use in. I explain everything on that video on detail. Okay, so just go there and check it out. So selected companies, then one, otherwise zero. Okay. So you said if the values that we picked on the slicer are the same values that are here on this max selected value, then one, otherwise zero. So if I put that in here, you'll see what happens. So I have nothing selected, it just says one on everything. It says basically highlight everything, which we don't want, but we'll fix that. If I pick company one, it just puts a one on the company that I selected, you see? If I select two, it will pass the values to the in function, and then it will select two. Okay, so now we have the behavior that we want, except for when nothing has been selected. We don't want this to be a one, we want it to be a zero. And we can transform that very easily with if is cross filtered. So we said if something, if company's company has been filtered, then do the max, do this part. Okay, let me put the comma. But if nothing has been selected, zero. And you'll see that it changes to zero. So now that we have a measure that detects which values have been picked and are passed into a table, the only thing that we need to do is to go to our table and then go to company name, conditional formatting, background color, or you can background the text or whatever you want to change. And then rules, you pick the measure that we just created, which is highlight with slicer. And then you say, if the number is greater than one, that means if it is highlighted, then here you put number, you delete that one, and it will say maximum and OK. And that will, you see? Now it's doing both because it has the, the other filter, but you need to do obviously on both companies and sales if you want the entire line to be highlighted. So if we go to background color, we change it to highlight with slicer and now it's responding to our new measure. How cool is this trick? And now, remember, I'm, just, I'm showing this just for highlight, but you can use this technique every time you need to pass multiple values from a slicer into a tax measure to do whatever calculation you want. So super cool. Did you do it before? Did you manage to get it? Did you do it the same way as I did? If you didn't, another way, post down below your measure. It would be super fun to see it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the trick. I thought I hope that you got it right from the beginning. 
it is Friday, enjoy your weekend, enjoy summer if it is summer <laughs> where you live. And uh, I will see you again on Monday with another Power Query video. Take care. Bye-bye.